Hey everybody, I'm Cokeman250, and you're watching Positively Preparing, the channel that allows you to come with me on my preparedness journey to see the things that I'm doing to help my family live a more self-sufficient and frugal lifestyle. Maybe we can learn something together. Let's do this. Hey everybody, Cokeman250 here. And this is going to be my entry for Buck Run 11's January contest. He's talking about backup heat. And number one is my wood stove. Um, it is a low pie wood stove. It has a blower on it. And uh, funny story about this, actually, it's an insert. <clears throat> I had an open fireplace and I cut wood and fed the open fireplace for years and you know you don't get uh, the most out of your wood like that it's not very efficient so I was cutting wood on a guy's property that I go to church with and I was telling him I was wanting to get me a wood burning insert uh, to put in my fireplace because uh, you know to make my wood last longer more efficient and heats better <clears throat> he said well I know where you can get one and I said, where's that? He said, out there by my shop. And I said, well, okay, well, how much you want for it? He said, I don't want nothing for it. Just go get it. He said, I upgraded. He said, I, I put in a pellet stove. The guy was getting older. You know, he didn't cut wood and stuff anymore. So he went to a pellet stove. Anyway, he said, uh, he said, you can have it. So I hired a guy to come in and install it for me. And, um, when he got when he got here, he said, I sell this brand of stove. He said, where'd you get this? I said, a guy at church gave it to me. And he said, well, you know, I sell this same stove for uh, $4,000. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I, much to my surprise, I had no idea. But uh, it has been a good one. And you can see it sticks out of my fireplace about 16 inches. It gives me about a 16-inch out from the fireplace cooking surface by about i'm guessing two and a half foot so two and a half foot by 16 inches cooking area and i've cooked a lot on this thing i've actually up here under my um let's see there we go under my mantle i've mounted a lot just a battery power push light and uh, that way I can see what I'm cooking I actually need to clean it up a little bit but uh anyway so that's number one and that's my backup heat the blower on there it doesn't take much to run that blower and uh, we'll get to my next ones all right so after my wood stove I also have a kerosene heater and right now I have about five gallons of kerosene. I like to keep about 55 gallon drum. I'd like to get up to a 55 gallon drum full of kerosene. Um, I bought about, I had about 40 gallons of kerosene and over the last four or so years, I've just used it and I haven't bought any new. So I'm gonna get back up to a 55 gallon drum of kerosene for that heater. I also have this little generator, just a little El Cheapo. It does the job. I've never had any problems. It's never let me down. It'll run a stand-up freezer, my side-by-side -side refrigerator, an old refrigerator that I have with a freezer on top, modem, wood stove blower, computers, cell phones charging, and, and I can do all that at the same time, and it never bothers it. Um, so... I also have this as a backup and I could run, I could probably run a little uh, electric heater off this, which I have if I had to, but I, I really, I really like to stay with, with wood and kerosene. So I got one more I'll show you and then we'll look at uh, um, my truck. And then you guys have seen me do my little video, a couple of videos on my perfection heater that I just got up and running. I also have that and I have lamp oil that I've been running on it. Um, there's some there. 
there's about four cases right there. Uh, and then I have another four cases here. So that's all lamp oil. But uh, that's what I've been burning through it. Uh, there's my five gallon bucket of kerosene. That's the last one I have. So I will be getting back to a 55 gallon drum. So my, <laughs> this is real life, folks, okay? This is my mobile office. This is my uh, family station wagon when need be. So it's a mess um, unless I plan on the whole family going somewhere and then I usually clean it all out. So I usually keep a lot of work stuff in here and just, just junk. Like if my boss decides he's gonna ride with me, I throw all the trash from the front floorboard back here. <laughs> So anyway, my kids usually keep uh, some kind of blanket back here uh, because they don't like waiting for the, the heater to warm up in the mornings if uh, I take them to school. I've always got some kind of some kind of awesome drinks back here, <laughs> pure refreshment laying around. Um, the old 4D mag light. Also, it's kind of a head beater. Uh, I usually got a frog tog back here just in case, you know, you never know when you're going to have to change a tire in the rain. Uh, <clears throat> I do got a, uh, a, a get home bag and in the winter time, in the winter time it has the Zippo hand warmer in it and the fluid. Uh, it's pretty basic. I mean, this is like... There's some lighters in there. I usually keep two. A cheap pocket knife in there. Look at this. Well, look at that, yeah. Fair skinned. So we're gonna have a little uh, sun, sunblock. Um, some Lysol, some baby wipes. <clears throat> And then the big part of this I keep uh, two homemade MREs and um, a little mess kit and a uh, Sawyer Mini and that's pretty much it I mean it's fire uh, wait right here got a little Got a little, uh, some waterproof matches. This has got a lanyard with a compass and a whistle and uh, just a cheap little poncho. Uh, so if the ground was wet, I'd have something to set on because that thing's probably not gonna fit me. <laughs> but it's pretty basic. Food, uh, a way to filter water, a way to start a fire, and uh, there you go. I think up here in the front, let's see. Uh, my kid's got a little fuzzy mohawk hat. I always keep a uh, pair of leather work gloves in here all the time. Usually got my prayer book. Let's see. And I always have this kind of a fire kit with a, uh, a ferrule rod. And there's also a uh, magnesium fire starter in there also. <clears throat> and that's usually it. Got some sunglasses and some hats, you know. But anyway, so that's what I got. This buck run, thanks for the challenges. It's really got me to thinking a lot. It's really got me started doing some of the stuff I need to be doing again. And uh, taking inventory. So, this Coke Man 250 from the land of the free, the home of the brave. God bless everybody, and remember prep smarter and pray harder. <laughs>